Hey, 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 my name is Chen Wei, and welcome back to the Rich Witch Show. my rich witches and rich wizards out there in Weasley Wonderland. Yes, just as I started recording, the rain started pouring. I swear to God, this camera is a little crooked, but that's okay because we're going to get into it. Let me tell y'all, I've been a rhyming machine. My name is Chen Wei, aka Chen Weasley, aka Le Rich Wish, and you are now tuned in to the 12th one, two, two into the three ascendant masters all around us in this heezy. Yes, the 12th episode of the Rich Witch Show. Today, we are talking about the planets. We're only going to talk about a few of them. We're going to talk about what the hell that has to do with the days of the week. Um, for Planet Power, we're going to get into the Rainbow Children. Mm, Y'all may have been seeing me talk about this during TikTok. During TikTok or on TikTok. So we're going to talk about what these Rainbow Children is meaning, what this whole Leo energy really, really, really means that we're stepping into. We kind of talked about it last week, but we're going to go into it a little bit more. We got a performance. And uh, you'll just see who's performing this week. I don't know. You know, things are spontaneous when it comes to the music. You know how this goes. If you've been rocking with me since episode one, okay, the camera is still crooked. We still dropping pins, okay? We still getting it together. My homegirl, Coco, Courtney, said that she loved the authenticity of the show. So I love that it's not perfect because other people appreciate it too. Anyway, um, we're going to get real in here. Like I said, talk about the planets, tarot talk, magnify the magic, see if there's any information that wants to come through from the stores. But before we do any of that, <laughs> y'all already know we got to thank our ancestors. We got to thank Kuku Majaji, Sylvia Robinson, my descendants. Y'all, hold up. If you have been watching on TikTok, right now we are um, moving into a season of forward movement there's no more looking back so if you do build an altar build an altar for your descendants okay and because our ancestors are coming back as our children as our future children you know what okay i want to thank y'all for showing up let's get into planet power i just had to rip it up we we continuing i don't even think this has a transition planet power there we go <laughs> gotta do it right um so what i want to talk about for planet power because they just came up they just busting down the gate um i didn't i couldn't even get out my thank yous to them because they said no talk about us talk about who we are i'm sorry y'all my back is itching a little bit um okay so <clears throat> if you've been watching me while out on tiktok the past few days what you will have noticed is that i've been talking about sex a lot um, and that is because there are children being born. I just saw 246 on the clock. Ugh, that's progression. They got your back. Maybe that's why my back keeps itching out of nowhere. Hey, good, how are you? Um, these children that are being born during this time, it's a very hot time, okay? We're in heat, it's primal. Um, so that's why I said on TikTok, if you are f***ing and you are f***ing raw, you are pregnant or you're about to get pregnant, okay? Mark my words because this Leo energy is hot, it's fiery. And all the ancestors that have been waiting on you to clear this ancestral trauma, to break these generational curses of lack, um, not walking in your passion. That's why the birth chart readings are so important because they help you to align with your purpose and your passion. And so millennials, by breaking those chains, breaking those generational curses of being in the rat race, um, getting money for the wrong reasons, not loving yourself, superficiality instead of going from the inside out. For all of you who have been doing the work, your ancestors are grateful and they're coming back to bring you this abundance by being your descendant. So if there's a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, somebody you've never even met, but you've always felt connected with because they passed on before you came back, okay, they are coming back and they are coming back with a mission. They are coming back on a mission. They are coming back to, they are not playing and they have something that they want to say to you. Okay, we had a whole spiel on on how this was the year of the Virgo as well as the year of the Leo. Okay, depending on Vedic astrology or Cyril astrology, you can get both energies at the same damn time. There's something that they want to say to you. We'll bring this out in a second. Um, so we're gonna do tarot talk now. I don't know what's going on, but the babies have something they want to say. Um, the descendants, the ancestors, they're coming back. They want you to keep looking forward because they are your future. Whoa, they are your future. Okay. Knight of Cups. Love that energy. As well as the hanged man. Hmm. When I said they are your future, these are the two that popped up. And we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here about your future. 
there's an offer in your future you could have been waiting oh my god with this hangman you were waiting and waiting and waiting but there is an offer coming in it could definitely have to do with some money it could definitely have to do with some big time stability some sort of business I'm getting business management. I'm getting a business person, whether you're male or female. It's just this energy of solidifying a business. Um, but something else that you've been waiting on from your heart, your passions. You've been working really diligently at your passions. You've been building and they're coming. Your descendants are bringing you the abundance because when your ancestors come back, they lived really hard lives, okay? And I told y'all my Kuku Mujaji would give me a hard time and I would try to communicate with her and she didn't want to communicate with me. And my mother told me a long time ago that they were our ancestor ancestors, like 1800s and back, are upset at how easy we have it now. When that's not our fault, that's just the process of evolution. That's just when we all chose to came at these specific times. Um, there's going to be hardships, though, no matter what. So maybe we weren't out in the fields um, uh, 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 gathering berries or, or, or herding cattle, but you have the pressures of social media, um, which is more so mental, not so much as physical survival. So they are coming back to live a life of ease that's why i'm saying whatever it is that you have been waiting on whether it's a two-family home whether it is your own home whether it is your passion your business to take off whatever you are passionate about whatever is coming from the heart okay but you just couldn't figure out how to make it work um now is the time to make it work thank you with the rain coming down can y'all hear it let's get another card for this hangman okay yes the rain looks so beautiful i wish y'all could see what i see <clears throat> Had to come to my mama Stacy's house. Shout out to mama Stacy. Y'all know I got several mamas and grandmamas. I'm so blessed. I'm so spoiled. Heavy on the Taurus energy. Heavy on the attraction, attractive energy. I love how my boobies just be shaking. Ooh, we got some milk, honey. We got some milk. That one almost wants to flop out. The page of swords. A lot of blue. A lot of communication. So you opened up your mouth and you said something here. You had, and look, now we got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We went from the King of Pentacles to now the Knight of Pentacles. You opened up your mouth and you said something maybe that you have been wanting to say for a really long time. Um, but it had merit to it. It had weight to it. And that's why you're coming out of this stagnancy. You're coming out of this upside down position into something that you've been wanting for a really long time. Thank you, Wind, especially as it pertains to your business, as it pertains to love. Let's get clarity now on this Knight of Cups. Whatever it is that you've been wanting for a long time from your passions, from your heart, it's just something that you're really passionate about. And it could be multiple things, but I honestly feel it's one thing, the way the knight is holding this one cup, the way she's holding this one sword, the way he's held up by this one rope. It's one thing that you've had your eye on, that your high priestess, that your higher self has gone to your vibrational vortex to cash out two of wands i don't really want to take that king of pentacles again i'm just pulling them as a five of pentacles tell me about this knight of cups wherever your passions lie that's what's coming to you my guy Ooh, ooh. wherever your passions lie that's what's coming to you my guy we have the three of swords the four of swords and the two of wands came back out even though i said i didn't want it it came back out three of swords Four of swords and the two of wands no more heartbreak there's an end to the heartbreak look at that pink again the high priestess shows up no more heartbreak walking down a new path so again like i said wherever because this is the knight of cups like i said comes from the heart and you've been disappointed you've been let down this is my minor setback major comeback card you've been let down you've been 909 on the clock that's my birthday happy birthday yes you've had a rough life Yes, you've had a rough life, a lot of disappointments, a lot of letdowns. But with that four of swords, you finally get some peace. You finally get to rest because no more letdowns. And you're finally with this two of wands embarking down a new path because you're operating from the heart. You put your heart out there. You spoke up for what you wanted. You took your time. You hung in there. The hangman says, hang in there hang in there and speak from your heart and you know what that's what you did and that's why you're getting everything you want she's still putting in your order now is a heavy ass time to manifest um even with the full moon coming up next week we're just in this weird in-between phase and it's a very important time to manifest 
Look at this blue. I love the blue. Blue could be significant. We got oceans. We got beaches. Somebody just walked. Oh my God. Somebody just rolled by with a blue um, biker suit on, y'all. I cannot make this shit up. Okay. So continue speaking up, speaking clearly, and also listening. Listen twice, twice as much as you speak. That's why she's only got one sword one cup oh you know what's been interesting one liners one liners say what you need to say get in there and get out one liners say what you say say what you mean and get out if you're texting somebody don't text no long paragraphs text one thing it's over it's done it's communicated communicated clearly the first time what they say from um dr seuss i was in Susical okay and i had a little part or whatever i used to do musicals and stuff back in the day and um Horton, the elephant, would say, I meant what I said and I said what I meant and elephant faithful 100%. That could be your mantra for the week. The incantation because it rhymes. I meant what I said and I said what I meant and elephant faithful 100%. Yes, the wind is picking up. I meant what I said and I said what I meant and now I'm getting what the fuck is I'm supposed to get. Okay. All right. And that has been Planet Power there was more detail i wanted to go into but maybe this was just supposed to be more um 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 um, um general also make sure you subscribe to richwithshow.com because i've got a new membership that i'm doing instead of paying 44 dollars per class what you do is you pay four dollars and 99 cents a month and that gives you access to new course material weekly keep it simple stupid um we may not all have $44 to shell up front, especially if you're like, who is that? But I think that you can risk $5. There's also a 14-day free trial. I'm also um, sending out written messages that I've been channeling from Sirius Star. Oh, my God, with this August Leo energy. And also, I'm doing Rich Witch Raw. That's behind the scenes, uncut, unadulterated. What's really going on in my life? How do we make the magical practical? How do I jump out on those ledges, sleeping in my car, taking a leap of faith, believing in the Rich Witch Show to where my dad said, uh, you just ain't gonna work because our beliefs are different. And I said, okay, I'd rather sleep in my car too. Speaking up and asking for what I wanted from a friend and getting everything that I ever dreamed of but I'll give you more details on that. I have footage of all that, um, but you gotta sign up, richwithshow.com, join the Soul Tribe exclusive membership. You won't wanna miss out, okay? Um, my life gets very juicy and y'all think I might tell y'all a lot. I'm not giving y'all nothing on this show, okay? So anyway, that has been Planet Power. That has been housekeeping. That has been an introduction to the, de the descendants that are on their way. Congratulations, I've been seeing so much pink Everybody is fertile. The energy is fertile. Manifest, plant seeds. Make sure you're watching what seeds you planting, okay? Because they will bloom beautifully in all aspects of the word. In that order, as Mama Stacy says. So without further ado, let's get into this performance. You all up in my dream, supernatural. Let's get astro. Meet me in the other realm, don't be bashful. We mirror energy, so love I know. You're all up in my dreams, that's how I know that our souls are meant to remember we roll. Will a fortune this I go? So let's go. I had a dream that we were slaying demons. You were so strong. So capable that you didn't even touch me a gun. But I found one, started fast enough. Hey, and we rode off in the sun. Hey, protected by two angels, tag team and battles. That's when I fell even more in love. I knew right there you were the one. My ace of cups, like, yeah. I wanna ride with, I wanna tie with all up in my dreams, supernatural. Let's get astro. Meet me in the other room, don't be bashful. We mirror energy, so look I know. You all up in my dreams, that's how I know that our souls are meant to remember how we roll. With a fortune as I go. 
let's go. And how could I forget about the night you made an alpha? That's a little thought I'm on to affinity and beyond. I played it cool, yeah, I was calm. Only on the inside, I was thrilled. Your voice, it gives me chills. I knew it was real, like when I, like when I looked in your eyes. <laughs> that was months ago, you made me comfortable. And I knew right then. You put me first in this life. You all up in my dreams, super, super natural. Let's get astro. Don't be bashful. No, hey, solar panels. You all up in my dreams, that's how I know that our souls. I'm meant to remember how we roll, oh, we roll, oh, we'll look for tennis, I go. I want to ride with, I want to tie with. Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <coughs> welcome. Mm. 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 You're welcome. <coughs> welcome back to the Ritualist Show, where we make the magical practical. My name is Shin Weezy, and I'm just so delighted that you could be here with me. Now, normally we would go into Get Real and Heal, but something is telling me to switch up the whole tempo. And um, we're gonna magnify that magic first before we get into this planetary information. So um, apparently there's more information that wants to come through before we get into get real and heal. It could be coming from the planets. Oh my God, okay. So magnify the magic, it's time to what? Turn down for what? Magnify the magic, magnify the magic. All right, I'm wilding. Magnify the magic is a group hypnosis that we do together. It's guided, yes, on the skin, honey. Look at all that brown melanin. <laughs> <laughs> hypnosis it's just a trance we go into trances when we drive when we stare out the window when we sleep when we wash dishes when we take a bath okay um and basically where two or more are gathered we mag it's called magnify the magic because where two or more are gathered we are able to intensify those intentions put a magnifying glass on the intentions and make them come to life i always use the example where two or more are gathered when you get the whole church praying you can move mountains and that's what we're doing here with our hypnosis can i get a ashe 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 oh okay excuse me big burp on the ashe thank you um, so basically, this is not no V for Vendetta type shit. People hear hypnosis and they get weirded out. I'm not trying to take over the world. I told y'all I would use my class, my grace, my talents, my beauty, my charm, my intelligence, my love, and permission from the universe to change this world. Okay? So without further ado, let's get into Magnify the Magic. So I'm going to count down from five. And in between each number, I'm going to say I am grateful for the abundance of. And you're going to fill in the blank out loud or to yourself. When I snap my fingers, you will enter your hypnotic trance and we will magnify that magic together. Let's get it cracking. Five. I am grateful for the abundance of. Four. I am grateful for the abundance of. Three. I am so grateful for the abundance of. Two. I am grateful for the abundance of. One, I am grateful for the abundance of.
slowly, I'm gonna count you up to five. When you're ready, open your eyes. One, two, three, four, and five. Woo! Yes! Yes, birds, how was y'all's meditation? Oh my God, I kept hearing the words sign up today or sign ups today with the wind sign ups signing up signing up signing up signing up people are subscribing to this membership people are picking up whatever it is that you are putting down people are are, are fucking with you people are about to be spending money with you they fucking with you they want to invest in you sign up is there something you've been wanting to sign up for a course a class maybe it's my show for real like i don't know but there's something that you've been wanting to try i know my homegirl courtney again on courtney shout out to courtney i just love me some courtney and some ac shout out to black love honey she's been taking zumba classes if there's anything that you've been wanting to explore and learn sign up now i told you i'm feeling this taurus energy um so that's a message for somebody archangel michael is going by something about speech speaking up speaking up say things one time as well you only need to say something one time you don't need to say it no whole bunch of times we all grown we all mature we all trust ourselves we trust the universe and i say it one time it's done that's on what rich with show big.com all right right now we switch it up a little bit and last but certainly not least we finna get real and heal give me some mm -hmm. yes i feel so good that little shake oh y'all do the shake it just help you feel so good move the energy around especially after we just got done meditating so for get real and heal i promise y'all we would talk about the freaking planets okay and that's why the song let's get astral i know it seems so long ago <laughs> that's why let's get astral was chosen because it's all about flying away to another place going to different planets and and different places and examining different things um just like all of our descendants are coming from all different walks of life they're coming from all these different planets which is probably why they want me to talk about it they're coming from different star systems across the galaxies across the multiverse they're coming to us to be with us during this time of change and awakening and revolution and abundance the first shall be last and the last shall be first especially for all the black people around the world. I'm not being biased, but you have to be honest. Black people, people of African descent around the world have had it very, very, very difficult for a long time. It is our season now. This is a channel message straight from the heavens, okay? Anyway, let's talk about these planets. Let's talk about where all our descendants, our rainbow children, our crown chakra children are coming from. They are of the sun, of the Sirius star. Anyway, I could go on. We're gonna start with Sunday days of the week what do the days of the week have to do with the planets well the planets are i know i keep looking i gotta be alert on my cat shit the days of the planets are associated they're named after the, the days of the week are named after different planets so we're going to start with sunday because in most calendars you start with sunday sunday represents what the sun this is our leo energy our life force energy the sun is included in this because there is no planetary nothing without the sun now sirius star sun is 25 times bigger than our sun but we don't get life force energy from it actually sirius gives life force energy to our sun and our sun gives the energy to us okay so sunday is a day of enlightenment and you can this is how we make the magical practical by associating the days of the week associating our intentions associating uh, the tasks that we have to do based upon what the hell is going on in the skies okay this is all planet power now y'all are really we're really beginning to understand so with the sun um that's our life force energy this is our leo our pride our solar plexus like we talked about last week this is our power source next we have monday this is moon day moon day in spanish we say lunes lunes luna lunar are y'all picking up what i'm picking down luna is the moon in spanish lunar is what probably one of the etymology etymological uh backgrounds for the word uh lunar 
just deals with the moon okay I, I i don't know what i'm saying right now but lunar deals with the moon okay this is when we get into our emotions on monday this is when we use the moon to guide us um and it may be a little emotionally heavy on that day you might be in your feelings on a monday but also it's a great time to connect with the water it's a great time to get around any cancerians that you may know um oh especially now during this time during cancer season i'm just saying um, but this is how you can use that energy. Um, and the moon, you know, it's just all about uncovering those deep wounds. It's all about also those psychic abilities. So Monday could be a great day to set an intention to sharpen your psychic abilities as you're going out into the world. Let's say you want to telepathically communicate and have somebody email you or have somebody call you or people telepathically communicate to you and you pick up and call them that's what happened with me and courtney she just keeps coming up piscean energy could also be significant because that is water on this monday as well okay so y'all understand picking up what i'm putting down i hope it's very clear tuesday aka in spanish tuesday is what martes martes mars day okay mars let's talk about mars mars is the god of war mars is the god of ambition okay he rules aries aries is our cardinal energy you know because we've been talking about cardinal energy since april this is our first off the gate your ambition what you want to do mars says what's up what's up what's up that's what Mars energy says, okay? So this is our drive, our force, our masculine energy, what gets us out of bed, our ambition, okay? That is what Mars represents. So Tuesday will be a great day for setting out on new projects to initiate things. It's a great day to initiate things. If you were ever gonna pick a day to chase, to go after something, Tuesday would be the day. Ah. Tuesday would be the day to speak, to open your mouth. Tuesday would be the day to make a plan also, but, Tuesday says go for it. Tuesday says go for it. And Wednesday says we'll work out the details later. Wednesday is Miércoles, aka Mercury. And Mercury is the planet, the god of communication. And you know, all of this stuff associates with different gods against different um, religions. You've got the the Mercury Hermes in Greek. You've got um Who's the god of communication in Egyptian mythology? That's a shame I don't know. You have your Orishas, you have your um, Santeria priests and priestesses, you have Voodoo. So all these different characters are the same in every story, okay? Um, it's just different names and they look different, but it's all the same concept. So anyway, Miércoles, Wednesday. Um, we talk about Mercury. Y'all know this is the god of communication, travel, movement, speed, writing this is our gemini energy mercury rules what gemini and virgo we're going to talk more about that in our zodiac course please get into it i was going to do the zodiac course in september but i really may move it up to august and we'll do tarot another time we might do tarot in september and do the zodiac course in august because people are really getting more interested in astrology and all of this planetary talk ties into that okay next we've got thursday aka jueves this is jupiter Jupiter is our planet of abundance, expansion. This is Sagittarian in its uh, energy as well. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. This is big grand ideas. This is wisdom. This is ninth house energy. This is learning, absorbing, growing, expansion. So on Thursday, this is also your luck. Thursday, you can set your luck spells. Thursday, you can set an intention that you want to grow, that you want to find new ways to do things, that you want your business to expand. Um, and you can look for ways to do that. So when you have meetings, you can set your meetings by this day. If Wednesday is the day of communication, Wednesday is the day of signing contracts, then Thursday is the day of seeing that abundance come to life. It's the day of expansion moving forward. You sign a contract on Wednesday and on Thursday, come on now, you signed your commitment. You make commitments with Miércoles because you communicating clearly with all that blue, okay? And then Thursday, you notice how things expand. You notice how things grow. You notice how things balloon because you spoke up clearly for what you wanted on a Wednesday. Are you following? Are you following? Are you following? Next, we got Friday. That's Viernes. And we'll talk more about what Viernes is all about we'll see if you can figure out which greek god correlates with viernes that's how you say it in spanish i'm giving you hints okay so that's what we got for planet power whoa 
planet power yes and get real and heal um so this is how you can use what's going on in the skies and make it apply to our life okay because we are comprised of what the stardust and the sunrise y'all know how we do also i wanted to give y'all some key words okay word of the week could be um respect here's some words of the week <laughs> respect commitment effortlessness respect commitment and effortless okay without respect you don't have no boundaries you don't have no nothing this is your closing wheezy wisdom oh let me pull out my mama ponya because my hair is up like a queen so at the end we're gonna do our wheezy wisdom like we used to do on the podcast the lion is in podcast you can listen to it below so let's say wheezy wisdom we have our three words we have what what did i say i am i am you know getting a little older i forget these things also when you a little too much you know you forget the words Aish. let me feel a buster you know my mother is south african but this is more of a west african uh accent but anyway the words were <laughs> respect it's good for your boundaries it's good for yourself respect yourself you can respect others if others don't respect you you don't have to deal with them you can walk away from them wheezy wisdom to one wheezy wisdom to the other word is effortless things should come naturally they should come easily you speak up one time and things get done they get accomplished speak up for what you want but also understand things should come easy no more fighting no more chasing some things you have to put a little effort into but then you you sit back and you will know when it's enough effortless things flow effortless especially tangibly and the third word what did we say oh commitment commit to yourself respect yourself enough to commit to yourself that should be the most effortless thing ever you have to commit to people commit to situations do not go back to the past there is nothing back there for you except pain and hurt remember why you left commit to the future commit to moving forward commit to your descendants they are calling on you this is why this accent is coming up because they are calling on you eh you must answer the call and, and accept the call from the collect call from your aunts, from your descendants and do what you need to do to make sure they have a good and beautiful life because they deserve it. They have worked hard to bring us here. 1616, 16, the number one, the number six or 16 could be significant for you. And that is all that we have. Thank you for tuning in to the Rich Show. Make sure you go to richmishow.com. Get your subscription for $4.99 a month foot with a shawty on the five dollars you feel me also if you want to book your own personal tarot reading i'm still doing 10 for 10s if you want to get a birth chart reading they are 222 but let me tell you they are in depth they're gonna get you right they're gonna get you tight i ain't gonna give it to you no type of way other than the realest of the realest so anyway that has been plan planets <laughs> about the planets the hidden meaning of the days of the week part one we're gonna get it popping next week on part two talk about the rest of the planets and um until then i love y'all so much i'm sending you lots of love and luck i will see you on the other side Mwah. wheezy out